forfeit their calling in God. Because there is a, a design that God has. And there is not just a person, but there is a, a destined person. And if you hook up with somebody that does not have the blueprint that God gave you, it will be impossible to build. Oh my God, I gotta work a little bit. I gotta work. I gotta work. See, see, when God creates you, you have part of the blueprint. If you're gonna be married, if you're single and you're gonna be single, you have a whole blueprint. But when when your mate comes, they don't come to compete, they come to complete. And so they have the, the other half of the architectural drawing that was rendered in heaven. So when they show up, they come to enhance and say, we got the print now bill. Some people trying to hook up and you got an A blueprint and this person got a D blueprint and you're trying to come together and the building don't match. It, it doesn't connect. It pulls. And some people, instead of being a blessing that some people thought they were, they, they're the biggest hindrance. Yes. You're the biggest hindrance to my destiny because I find myself praying for you and us more than I pray for my destiny now. Right. You, you have become a God because all, all my energy is going into you. Yes. Because you were not the right one. Yes. But what if I marry them? They the right one now. You know how to skip them? <laughs> I can get out. If the Lord releases you, you can get out. But if you're just going to get out because you missed it, you're going to have to see those are what we call consequences. Consequences. You didn't want to wait on God. You were hot. You just wanted some legal sex. And so then you done jumped the broom, and the person that you jumped it with, not the person you thought they were. I can't get help. Let me get back into this, because I, I find people get mad at me. <laughs> Can I say it? Yeah. So, so what we do is we do what we want to do, and then we, we pray and ask God to change them and fix them, and God say, no, I showed you how they were when you were with them. And now you're going to have to live with the decision, the consequences of your decision. You chose this. You chose this. I didn't choose. This wasn't my choice. You see, you wanted a king. So I let you get Saul. But he was not my choice. See, David was my choice all along. But because you wanted to be like other women, I mean other nations, you wanted a king. And even though your king may be on the throne, he can be the one God rejected. I'm going to get off of this. I get tired of being lonely, Apostle. Baby, you get the wrong one, you still going to be lonely. Because there is no compatibility. Well, we're not even pursuing the same God. We don't have the same interests. I'm trying to be, or you can't stand up on your own two feet. I'm not. You're talking about lonely. They lay down, they just lonely. You can have sex, but it ain't even good. Because it's not with my soul mate. It's with a stranger that I married. Oh, wow. oh God, I'm not getting to it. Okay, let me go. And so you make it, you having sex, but you ain't making love. Because see, sex, anybody can do it. But love has to come from the one God is predestined. Okay, 315. Why y'all do me like that? Y'all just 
pulling me. You just pulling me all out of position, getting some people angry with me. Because I'm telling them the truth. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so 315. We're going to try this one more time.